it's hard to test that though it's hard to test because it's so time consuming to even you know check that out napolini's writing that down sadly only works one time or can you control which tile they do they could you could control which tile they do if it's the only tile outside of that you can't really you know control that can't really control that all right so i need more brine into here i need to lower the temperature of the steam so that this doesn't heat up on itself are we out of brine is that what it is no we have 18 tons still yeah it's all in bottled form okay start eight tiles return yeah but that's that's 16 tiles you would have to travel i don't think that would work out with the steam engine yeah, only one tile could be active. Because after I did that one tile, area complete. Napolinis! What are you doing here, dude? Come on, man. What are you doing? I'm gonna let you finish that meal, dude. You can't be eating inside the rocket, though, dude. Get out of there. Oh, yeah, I didn't ground it, dude. Feels bad. I gotta ground this one, too. Alright, I also have to finish this one. I forgot about this. We have to do that. Take the brine. More brine. It's always nice. Can we get... Can we get a delivery? Napolini's. Hook me up, man. <laughs> Napolini's, where you at? I need some brine water. There we go. We gotta lower the temp of the steam. Dude, it barely changed the temperature. It went from 170 to 167. Gonna eat all the muck root? Alright, we gotta ban Hori from eating that. The thing about muck root is that they don't actually prioritize eating it, which is kind of impressive. Because it's a negative one. So anything that's positive, even if it's low quality, they would eat that more than the muck root. But they will always eat that over meal lines, 100%. Can we get some more brine, dude? We need some waters, man. I'm thinking about doing that here now. Just just having the water dripped off and then we pump it in. I'm impressed how opening food tab lags hard. Dude, that's the thing that lags the most. Doors, for whatever reason, causes lag when I click on them. And then food for whatever reason, the consumables is always a problem. It causes the most lag just opening those windows. Dude, they're struggling with that. I guess I have too many jobs that are priority nine. Uh, that, these two are off. Uh, let's turn that off so it's no longer needed. Suit forge, that makes sense. Critter drop offs, I guess. That's another thing. Ah, this one. That might be messing with the AI. And then... Everything else should be fine. Are you guys cramped? Nope. Look at this. We have like three fish now. Oh, what the hell? What is he doing in here? How did he get inside? Dude, what in the world, dude? What is this pipsqueak doing in here? <laughs> Y'all see this guy? How'd he get in? What the heck? He's hanging out with the fishes. The pip's chilling, boys. The pip's chilling. All right, getting some oxygen. We need to move that into the the spot here. Oh, this needs to be high priority. That's what it is. One eighty-eight, dude. Can we literally get someone to put water in here, man? We really need it. What is this damage right here? Oh, it's a pipeline damage. Oh, the aqua tuner and the meta refiner were working at the same time. Oh. Alright, let me deconstruct that so it's not running. And then that way we could give this time. Because us moving Brian to here is like the hardest job in the world for some reason. 
And they move 700 grams, Napolinis, dude. Come on, stop memeing on me, dude. Can you just do the job? Can you just do the job, dude? The guy delivered 700 grams. Brian, dude. Come on, man. You pee more water than that, man. Came in with a shot glass full of water. Here's uh, me helping out with the fire. Pours a shot glass on top of the fire. Come on, dude. It's not gonna help. <laughs> this guy. Like getting ready for everything. Yeah, man. Napolini's is the default scapegoat now. Now that you're in the colony, dude. <laughs> you're the defaulted scapegoat. Easily blamed for everything. Alright, so the steam is fine. If we ignore that, uh, all we're waiting for is the oxygen here. I've taken Cthulhu's place. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna have to yellow alert that. They, they are not moving the oxygen at all, man. I have 138 kilograms. Oh, is he moving 100 kilograms in? That's actually really good. Let's go. All right, so how much oxygen does this use? It just uses the same amount of oxygen that the dupes breathe, right? I should have did spaghetti pipes to hold more oxygen in the pipes. I don't know if I want to send them out right now. That's the one thing I'm worried about. I might not have enough oxygen. So, 100 kilograms for one dupe, that's, that's enough to breathe for like two cycles. This is like two cycles worth of oxygen. All right, so let me go like this and just empty this for the strat. Emptying 100 kilograms all at once, even if I have to wait, it's faster than putting it on the canister emptier. And this one. 5.4 kilograms? Oh, it's been running, that's why. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. All right, let's put this here. You can struck that. And then let's get a statue. I can't do the statue, it's too wide. Let's go, this one's kind of ready. I might want to send this one out instead. 5.4 kilograms, all we need here is a pump now. Gas pipeline, and then we need a little bit of juice. There we go. Still gotta be plumbing though, right? More oxygen, as much as we can. We laddered all the way down. That's actually impressive. So let's go like this. Let's start mining this. We'll keep the ceiling on top. And then we'll just trim this down top bottom. After that, we'll start working on our great monuments. This room is 8 out of 8. This room is 8 out of 8. Okay, so we're able to start doing this again. So let's lock the doors. Nope, we can't lock the doors yet. We need to... Uh, auto wrangle surplus all critters except for shine bugs. And we gotta get some of these shine bugs into this room. Second refinery uh, wants to keep melting things. Right now, we have it turned off though. We still need to add more brine into here. They're struggling to move. But this is basically gonna be our rocket fuel. Ooh, a nice 200 kilograms. That's pretty nice. Lowers the temperature. It's able to roll. First refinery. No, it's off too. That one's fine. They're doing all right. They're doing all right. All right. Did we release it? Oh, we did. No, we did it. Okay, we kind of did. It only went up to 3,000. That's not a lot. Alright, put the oxygen back. Notes taken, notes taken. Hmm. I used to have this as an oxygen. Oh, that's an idea. Hmm. 
Uh, all right. One thing that's kind of funny is that I have 16 kilograms of O2 in here. Oh, you're taking a dump in here, Leron? Come on, man. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on, man. We got to ground this rocket. All right. So since we have a lot of oxygen there, I could just deconstruct this. I think that's the play. And then we get all the oxygen in a bottle and we empty it out here. I think that works. I think that works. All the glass is almost done. I could probably bring this down to one now. This is still not even warm yet. This is a little bit on the hot side, but as long as we have the stable, we're fine. I might actually want to plant more meal lice. I want to conserve the dirt though. We could just eat a lot of uh, hatch, hatch meats. No, no. No, they're wrangling everyone and not the shine bugs. Oh, that's not the good play. Or right, maybe we don't rant shine bugs over here anymore. Let's put hatches here. <laughs> Where's the sand at, dude? And this is two out of, okay. Alright, now we'll just move hatches here when we can. The other ones are fine. Uh, let's wrangle two hatches. Alright, after we do that, we can lock the door, start moving all the eggs out again, start having a nice time producing one. Okay, so oxygen. We have oxygen here, right? Dude, 420 kilograms, let's go. The ultimate meme amount, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> the ultimate meme amount, 420 kilograms, let's go. I should have enough oxygen with that. I realistically should have a lot of, on cycle 169, dude, all the memes, everything's lining up, boys. It's time. Okay, so the other stuff doesn't really matter, but uh, I think the plays are uh, something we can't ignore. Let's make this sweep only oxygen. Let's make this a priority nine empty. Empty priority nine. And then we got to sweep the oxygen here. How come I can't click on the oxygen? That's a meme. Uh, here. We gotta sweep this. There we go. Let's go, boys. Gotta empty that out. We're gonna sweep the 420 bottle into here, and then we can launch. Good times, good times. So this is filled up. It's doing good. 121. Okay. Uh, a 69 kilogram, man, dude. What, what's, what's happening, dude? <laughs> Cycle 169, we're getting a lot of 420 and 69 value items. This cannot be a coincidence. But hey, it is what it is. Hey, Elthar coming in with the five months. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes, the 20 dice ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub ad. But thank you so much for the support. Hope you're doing well, Elthar. Hope you're having a good day today. And thank you for the five months. Take the dirt, of course. What's going on, Susumu? I see you over there. It has range to the left, but does it have range to the right? Double and close? It shouldn't matter. Shouldn't matter. Theoretically, shouldn't matter. 5.8, and we're going to add another canister of 200. Okay, we're good. Let's take out the sweep only. Uh, it's crew time, and it's time to launch. So this guy is going back out uh, to here. 4 out of 10. Crew time, and it's time to launch. Let's go, boys. Uh, did we uh, fill this up with food? This is 
good. Uh, let's not go yet. Let's up this to 25. And then once we fill that up, we'll be able to go. You can fit two in there. I don't know if it's it just doesn't benefit you, dude. <laughs> doing good. Hopefully everyone is doing the same. Yo, man. We do the best we can. Oh, the ice entombed all the objects. All right, we got to mine that out. Let's go. Steam rocket launch. Let's beat the game, boys. I don't know if we're actually close to beating the game, but we got to do the step. All right, so hopefully we're able to uh, get some more heat for the steam. We have a lot of fuel here, though, just kind of waiting for us. But yeah, man, one more day till the weekend. Yo, man. I remember when I used to have the 9 to 5 office job, and it wasn't 9 to 5. It was uh, 6 to 4. And yeah, really sucked because of the traffic, but... Uh, I remember when I used to have that job. I couldn't wait until it was the weekend, man. Every every week. At the beginning of the week, I'd be like, ah, oh, man, it's Monday. <laughs> it, it was a big struggle, man. I remember those days. But yo, weekend's right around the corner. Hopefully you guys get to enjoy that. Alright, so I think I still need to turn this on. With the reason being is that we have a little bit too much thermal energy in here already. So I kind of want to do it here instead. I think that makes more sense. Now the lime production. No more eggshells. The only thing we could probably get is from here. Uh, oh, and right here is going to be another room with eggshells that I won't be able to grab yet. That's fine. We'll tap into that at the very end, I think. Got the two hatches. Doors need to be locked. Take out the sweep only so the eggs get delivered. The sweetle eggs need to be removed. And then once we do that, we wait for the idle notification. 49 kilograms. That's not a lot, actually. We can add a little bit more. We have 19 tons still. That's a lot of brine. 6 to 6 construction. Uh, construction life? Oh, man. 6 to 6, man. It's tough. 6 to 6 is tough, man. I would still say that is not as bad as being a chef. Being a chef, dude, it, it's like the worst job in the world. You're literally like 10 to 10. Or even earlier than that. To even later than that, potentially. That stuff is tough. Oh, I didn't allow him to eat. There we go. Come on, you could reach. Oh, I launched without filling up the food. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I launched without filling up the food. That's fine. That's fine. Feels bad, boys. He's fine. He's fine. We have food. We're doing the rocket scanning. Get Hotbox 2. I see a meat. I see you over there. Alright, so let's fully get rid of this rocket. And then build a steam rocket there. I might also want to move this over one tile. So that we could actually build another steam engine here. That's probably the play. Didn't consider it, but I think that's the play. Alright, we just gotta watch over this. Get this. Oh, I didn't unground this. Ah, oh, come on. I didn't unground the freaking rocket. Ah, oh, and they made us they made a mess. Alright, man, for stress reasons I gotta do this. And then we gotta have them re equipped it. You hate to see that kind of thing happen, boys. Gotta mop this up when we can. Ah, oh, it sucks. <laughs> the freaking grounding thing still is a bug, huh? I thought they fixed that. I guess they did it. So when you lift off your rocket, the, the command center should automatically unground the rocket. But I guess it doesn't do that. That's, that's very unfortunate. 
All right, this is gonna be 25 with Makruk here. Let's get the statue in again. Let's get some more oxygen. 5.1, still pretty good. Food service is the real heal of Yeah, man, food service. They, they do the longest jobs, longest hours, and it's it's also like, it, it's, it takes a toll, dude. Like, you might get a little bit on the strong side because you're always lifting something heavy. But yeah, man, it's it's very tedious. It's tough. Food service people, man, they're they're really different. Different breed, man. My cousin is married to a chef. And it's kind of uh and it's kind of crass. But he said the worst thing about his job is that you're always so hot. You have to like Oh wow. Like things you never knew are white. I never knew it like that. That's crazy. But yeah, that makes sense. Road workers in summer I feel for pouring hot tar, hot weather, and like a full sunny day. Yeah. Isn't that why uh, road workers try to work as early as they can when the sun's not out? Isn't that one of the uh, logics behind that? That's why they wake up early. Like, oh man, I don't want to work in the sun. <laughs> they they want to wake up early, get the job done, and get out. And then they can't do it at nighttime because there's no light. They want to be uh, hit by cars, right? That's another thing. Sleep with green rotted. That's fine. All right, so we're starting the space scan. One, two, three, four. There's nothing here. Oh, we're scanning that. Okay. I want to send the rocket the other direction. So I think we do left and right as our first two directions. So this one is almost ready. This is going to be Napolini's. <laughs> Napolini's, don't die, buddy. We need you out there. Oxygen's pretty good. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Don't die, Napolinis. We need you over here, man, to succeed. Alright, we're doing really good, though. We need to stack up the oxygen so that we can make future trips. Pull in the O2 is not that bad. Looking at the volume, we're at 900 kilograms. Dude, that's actually a lot. I don't know if we could actually run out of oxygen. Did a lot of water uh, ice melting to get the most amount of water we can. And we're not even going to run out. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. This is back up to 114. If we could get this to 150, I think we'll turn off the system. And just do smelting down here again. That would probably be the play. Let's bring this back up to 55. Out of steel, because we're out of lime. Out of lime, boys. Classic. I'm really worried about my steel now, man. <laughs> I'm really worried about my steel. Alright, I might want to get more ranches now. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Uh, there's water there, but it shouldn't matter. Let's just deconstruct this. Let's have this go down. We did a trim here. Let's do it like this. We only need five tiles, right? So we could probably do like that. Just do the six. And then keep going down. What's going on, Fed? How are you? I see you over there. How's the days today? How's your Thursdays? Hope you're doing all right. I would export some crab shells to you. I got two tons of small ones only. Dude, this, uh, I don't know, man. This just, it's such a struggle. We have like no eggshells, no lime. That's the biggest bottleneck in this game for the challenge run. You don't get lime fast enough. But since we have 365 to do the achievement, we should have enough time. But yeah, I wouldn't mind a care package with lime, dude. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh... Oh no, I was going to say, maybe we could grab the eggshells from here. That probably doesn't help. And then none of these guys are cramped, right? We just need to breed as many Pakus as we can. They're, they're literally going to be the savior. Literally going to be the savior. At some point, I'm going to have to walk inside and kill a couple of fish, though. But man, all the pockets. They're going to be the savior of the playthrough, man. Not going to lie.
that is the upside of Oceana. Downside, there is a little ocean above. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not magma. And it's free water, dude. It's free water. Oceana gives you free water. It's a good time. No power there. That's fine. All right, let's check out my boy over here. How's he doing on the inside? We ate uh, 2.5 out of 6. So that's 1.6. That's what? We ate about 15, 20% of the food already. I think once we get to here, I have to go back. Food might be an issue. Food might be an issue. If food is an issue, I have to start making something that, that uh, doesn't rot. Uh, you know what that food is that doesn't rot? That's not berry sludge? It's, it's grub fruit preserve. Damn. Grub fruit preserves last 32 cycles. And that would be a great food to take with us. Alright, we're going to have to grow some grub fruit, boys. We have five grub fruit seeds. All right, copy paste. Let's see what else I could do with that. Let's actually cancel that. Cancel deconstruct. Let me get a door right here. And a door tile right here. And then I need to put a critter drop off here. I need to move a Sweetle to here. <laughs> he needs to tend the grub fruit so that I could get the plant. And then I have to make that a separate room so that we could actually move the Sweetle. And then we'll have to use a Sulfur. I mean, we get Sucrose. Actually, do I have a lot of Sucrose? I am ranching them for a little bit. So let me clear... I probably don't need to pay attention to this anymore. Plastic as well. We're good. Uh, data banks. We don't care. Everything else. We don't care about coal. Algae. We could look at. Okay. So from here. Sucrose. We have 600 kilograms. Okay. So I am looking for a kitchen for the preserves, right? Uh, let's put on this line. Kitchen line. Why not? And then once we grow grub fruit, I need to ban that from them to be able to eat it. Dude, look at the lag scrolling through the food. Jeez. And then we have Sweetles. Turn that one off so you don't take it to the wrong spot. And this is a wild one. So he's not going to die right there. Wrangle him, put him right there, and then uh, maybe move this one too because he's also wild. And then once we move those two guys, we should be good. Alright, so how's my boy out here? We have a uh, forest ore. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I do want to get to here. This is going to take... I need to check the rocket speed afterwards. 1.2 tiles per cycle. That's a little bit slow. This is ready, though. And we have enough food here for Napolinis. All right, Napolinis. Good luck, buddy. It's time for you to go. Uh, first things first. We're going to fill up the first rocket. And this is going to be uh, 129. We'll start pumping out. Start filling out this engine. With that 72 already, excess goes All into right. here. Oh, what's going on? Holy heck, Mr. Live Action Pixel, I see you over there. How are you doing today? What is good? Let's give you a shout, my dude. Hey, Miss Chemical Stairs with a shout. I see you. Thank you so much, Miss Chemical Stairs. Playing some Oni. How was it? Good sirs. How was the Oxygen Not Included streams? Moose GG, Cheeky Raid. Welcome on in. Uh, Iopsu, I see you over there as well. Unsubtle Silk. What a name. I think I said subtle correctly. I might be pronouncing it wrong. A squared, what is going on, you guys? Hope you guys are doing well. How was the Onis, dude? 
How was the streams today? And uh, Mr. Live Action Pixel Man. Talk to us about the streams. It's good. Thanks, dude. Having some issues with the Sour Gas Boiler, but nice otherwise. How's it here? We're doing a challenge run. So, Mr. Live Action Pixel, I don't know if you're uh, going to want to attempt this challenge, but this is going to be something I'm going to be challenging other streamers once I complete it. But to give you a quick rundown, we're doing something called the Super Classic Challenge. That is the rule set in chat. And basically, for the general gist of it, it is a no geyser challenge. So we seal up any existing geysers. We have to make a makeshift design to survive. And we are not allowed to land or teleport to other asteroids. So you're only limited to your starter asteroid and any resources you have here. For consistency's sake, it has to be a Terra start so that no one gets a random uh, map modifier trait. That makes it a little bit too easy. And your goals are going to be... So the, the, the limitations are no geyser usage. You have to seal up any open geysers that are naturally open. And if you have geysers that are open, you just can't use it. Uh, second thing is you can't leave the planet. So I have teleporters turned off in the settings. And then the third thing is you have to have no deaths so no one could die after that your goals are you're going to try to do home sweet home and then you're going to try to locate the temporal tear so on the uh great escape right here you have to open the tear and then breach the tear we don't have to do any of that we just have to locate it on the star map so you have to do a uh, star map exploration and find the temporal tear that's all you have to do once you uncover the point of interest and you can click on the portal tear, you did it already. After that, you're limited by the achievement one year to be exact. That's cycle 365.25. Once it reaches 365.25, your run is over. And if you didn't finish the uh, objectives, home sweet home, uh, finding the tear, then you lose. But if you survive to 365.25, you win if you complete the other objectives. So because of that, you have to survive without using water from the geysers. So we're doing a lot of jank stuff. You know, bathroom water overflow. We're melting the ice biome with the meta refinery right here. Instead of actually mining through the ice. And since we can't use geysers, you know, for the water or power, we have to do everything else. I have to grab the muckroot here. But yeah, that's the run. I don't know if you want to attempt that, but that's going to be something I will start challenging other content creators and streamers, man. If you want to uh, get a head start, <laughs> that is something you could maybe check out. But uh, yeah, this is supposed to be throwback to the uh, base game back when geysers actually were added into the game. So that was the original idea. Play the game without geysers as if it was super classic back before full release. And of course, I could have downloaded the mod to get Dangerous Slime Lung, <laughs> but I didn't want to do that. Now, found out that it's actually not that bad to survive the cycle 365 without, you know, leaving or using geysers. So the added stipulation was finding the tear. Because the problem is, is that since you're doing a terra start, you can't reach the edge on a normal setup. So you have to MacGyver something for that to work. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not going to spoil that, but there's some strats involved for that to really be successful. Because you can't send a dupe out on a one-way trip. If they die in the rocket, you got to start over. <laughs> That's the hard part. So you have 365 cycles to uh, achieve that. It becomes a very, uh, I guess, you have to be on pace. And uh, it, might take, it might take you a couple of attempts. Ah, so with chat mod, I've gone at the moment Psycho 885, uh, 887 without getting to uh, Second Planet or Geysers. So I got a good craft. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. That ranch design is something. Oh, yeah. This is my early game ranch design since I didn't have auto sweepers from the early cycle count. And the bottleneck you run into, because there's no pokey shells on this, is you're running out of lime. You're running out of lime. You don't have as much lime as you need to get uh, 17 tons of steel to build your great monument <laughs> so because of that it's it's uh it's a problem <laughs> it becomes a problem so yeah you need to get lime dude you gotta get the limes what's going on g money i see you over there yeah the ranch design is something yeah it was just early game design so that we could get the eggs out without them cramping 
I have no idea what this game is. It's it's so much going on. It is until you play it yourself. The moment you play it yourself and put a little bit of hours into it, you start to realize that it's really not that bad. It's a lot of just individual mechanics. But I will say that when I was watching someone play this, when I didn't have the game yet, it was very hard to follow. Don't forget my boys out in space. That's true. All right, we have nine cycles worth of cake house. He has three cycles worth of food in his body. So we have 12 cycles. I have to go one, two, three, four. So that's a four cycle trip. And he's still scanning. I might be able to go out. That's going to take another cycle. So that's four, five total cycles. And I have 12. I'll risk it. I'll risk it. So this is one out of six, and then we go back home. I could probably go further to get more scanning done, and then get back to here, and then do a uh, abandoned ship, <laughs> and then I just fly back home that way. I could try to do that. I gotta, I gotta be careful with that though. But yeah, Mr. Live and Pixel, thank you so much for the raid. Bring your community over to share with ours. And if you guys don't know me, my name is Too Legit City. Play a lot of Oxygen Not Included. We're also playing Don't Starve Together in City Skylines. Those are the three games on our rotation. And of course, if you guys don't know Mr. Live Action Pixel, he does a lot of Oni as well. Check the man out, drop the man a follow. Say what's up to him when he streams. He still has to research tiles too. Yeah, it's true. Gotta get some snacks, BRB. Gotcha, gotcha. Abandon losses, some resources, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just some resources. As long as I didn't build anything out of steel, I think it's fine. Because if I don't have anything made out of steel, I don't lose any steel, and then everything else I feel like is a little bit more sacrificial. Did I finish? Oh, I did. Oh, I, I it actually cooled down. Okay. This goes back up to 200. And then I think it's because we added more Brian. That's actually a good thing. Nate Bellinis, you know what time it is, buddy. It's time for us to set you out into space as well. You got to launch, buddy. We're going to launch you right now. So we have enough oxygen inside. So let's go with this guy going to the left. One, two, three, four. Uh, Nate Bellinis, don't die, buddy. It's crew time and launch. We have oxygen, 5.1 kilograms. Inside here is 7.5, so we're actually really good. Every time we come in, the kitty is sleeping. Kitty is actually a pillow. Oh, exposed Opalani. Kitty's a pillow. The kitty's is a pillow. Hey, pillow. Oh, the pillow woke up. Feels bad. <laughs> Look at that. I have, a, I have an animatronic pillow, dude. If I call out to it, it actually moves. <laughs> the reality of it is is that I'm actually the pillow oh my god you woke up the pillow <laughs> it's fine it's fine he sleeps on me all the time I'm actually the real pillow feels bad hey Bellinis dude where'd you go hey Bellinis man are you sleeping? Is he in? Can oh, wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Napolini's. He's inside the rocket. He's doing rocketry. How come we're not launching? How come we're not launching? Oh, this is grounded. Ah, come on. Hello? Idle? Schedule? No. Multiple pilots? No, it's just one. It's just Napolini's. Everything is checked off. Everything is checked off. Door? Door shouldn't be locked. There's no automation on it. <gasps> ah, yes. This, this is a predicament right here. He, this was not a double door setup. Yes. There we go. Hey, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there was no pad. My bad. My bad. 
I was blind, boys. My bad. He's already in the telescope, dude. What a guy. He's already scanning. Wait, that's illegal. Oh, it's because you're already on this tile. Y'all see this? One, two, three, four. But he's already here. One, two, three, four. Interesting. I missed it, boys. That was my fault, too. <laughs> Nabellini's he's caught my hacks on, dude. Feels bad. He knows I'm cheating now. I can't believe it. All right. Still Lime is the bottleneck. All right. We're going to do the scanning. And then I need to get more hatch ranches. So we got to have this come out. Uh, I think I could do this. And then we'll mine out these two from the ladder. And then we get the door right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got the aim bot. Hey, man, my dupes are just that good. <laughs> you can't hate on the dupes because they're good, dude. They got the skill level, dude. I can't, you can't be mad at that. They got the skill. Oh, we didn't allow uh, uh, Napolinis to start eating his uh, muck root. We got you, buddy. All right. Dude, Smoke King 1991. What's up with all the raids right now, man? What's happening? What is going on? I see you guys over there coming in with the raids. Hey, dude. What's going on, Smoke King? Thanks so much for the raid. Thank you for bringing your community over to share with ours. 1991. Hello, uh, Blue Dead. Oh, we're not. Ra oh, I'm raiding you. I'm sorry. I was not supposed to raid. I was supposed to give you a shout out. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm about to raid you right now, dude. Holy heck. Smoke King 1991. I almost ended stream, boys. Sorry about that. How was the Onis today? How was the streams? Blue Delta, welcome on in. How are you guys today? How was the Onis, dude? Talk to us about the colonies. What were you guys getting done? And of course, if you guys don't know me, my name is Too Legit City. We do a lot of Oni on here. We're also playing some Don't Starve Together and City Skylines. Those are going to be our main games as of right now. And right now we're doing a challenge run. If you guys have any questions, I'll be happy to ask. Or, I'm sorry, I'll be happy to help. Any questions you guys may have about the challenge run we're doing. Anything amongst the lines of needing help in this game, I got you. I have a lot of hours. I have a lot of experience. And I also have tutorial videos on YouTube. So, guys, ask away if you guys need the help. Doing some Volcano Taming. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. And uh, what are you going to be using the Volcano for? This could be a geothermal power plant. Resource conversion with the heat. A lot of things you could do with a volcano. It's really good. The thing about that, though, is that, you know. Right. What the heck? A Linden coming in with the one-man raid? I see you over there. Gold Volcano. Control temperature output for the gold. Oh, Volca uh, Vol uh, Vold. Gold Volcano Taming. Nice, nice. Good stuff. Is that going to be your first metal volcano that you're going to be taming? Offline raid. I see you over there. Uh, Linden, how was the streams? Shout out to you. <laughs> for this one, yes. Oh, nice. Hopefully, though, it's uh, all going according to plan. But I'm not going to lie, man. It's it's one of the most... How do I say this? It's one of the more uh, scary things to do. Just because it's such a hot temperature that you're playing around with. And they're going to do petroleum boiler next. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nice, nice. One day it'll be a real raid. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot to give Napolini's toilet water. Oh, dude. Napolini's, I'm sorry, dude. You gotta you gotta sit in your own pee for a second. You gotta do the bear grills. I'm sorry, my dude. All right, you're gonna do bear scanning. We're just gonna do one tile. We do a little bit of a layer right there, and then we send you back home. Feels bad, man. He peed his pants. He hate to see it. I forgot to give him toilet water, man. Classic. Yeah, I forgot to connect the pipes. Ah, my bad. And then some geothermal that could be uh, a desalinator as well soonish. Oh, that's nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Sounds like you have everything planned out, though, smoking. Good stuff, man. How are you liking the oxygen not included, though? If this is the first volcano taming, I would imagine you're uh, still learning the game. So I'm curious, man. What do you think of the game so far? Are you liking it, man? 
I messed around with Oni a lot. Yeah, Oni's a great game for messing around with. It's a great sandbox. Jeez, 6,500 hours? Jeez Christ, dude. He has double my hours. I see you over there, man. Yeah, there's a lot to mess around with in Vox Jedi included. There's a lot of cool stuff you could do based off of uh, your knowledge of the uh, the system. No, 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 man. Not not a loser. That's 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 insane though. That's impressive. 6,500 hours. That's in the realm of people that play Factorio. People who play Factorio, they usually go, "Oh yeah, I have that many hours in Factorio." <laughs> that, that's normally what you hear. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of hours, but that's impressive. No, man, that probably means you're pretty knowledgeable. Okay, one sec. Ah, someone's trapped. Oh, man, what a way to get trapped. Uh, it's going to be this time. Get out, dude. Get out. Get out. Let's go. <laughs> This guy, of course, will get trapped. Oh my god. Motivated just because I have a good understanding of game mechanics? Uh, Let It Die has about similar hours. Oh, I see you, I see you. Good stuff, man, good stuff. Sadly, the only thing that I have in that hour range is War of the Warcraft, because I used to play that so much as a child. Oh, oh, I thought you were going to get your head stuck or get pushed into the pit of death. But yeah, that was a long time ago since I've played. Alright, so there is a little bit of CO2 issue right here. I think it's time to deal with it. So... New planetoid! We got the shovel planet, okay? That opens up a lot more for me. So we got these three that we have to look at. And then it's one, two, three, four. I should have enough time to continue scanning. We can't reach that anymore, that's fine. And then I need to get a pump right here to start moving some of the CO2 out. So I think we'll do it here, as low as we can, and then we just pipe it upwards. And it should be good. And the only thing we need here is a little bit of power. And then... I think we'll just pull it from this wheel. Shouldn't be too bad. So we'll just do it like this. And then I will have... No, nah, I'll just pliers this. Should be fine. I think the closest thing would be Minecraft. I don't like sticking with other games long enough. Oh, I'd be like that sometimes. I need to sleep, but can't yet. So zombie game it is. I see you, Smoke King. Does that mean you're playing some uh, Call of Duty? You gotta play the zombies in Call of Duty, man. That's the classic. That's the classic, man. At least for me, it is. <laughs> I love zombies. Uh, Civilization is my poison. Have that in most... Dude, I used to play a lot of Civ. Civ 5 is probably the one I play the best. I don't have Civ 6. I was thinking about getting Civ 6, though. Because of... Uh, there was a sale recently for Civ. But I was like, no, nah, I don't have time to spend on that. Because I remember when I first got into Civ, dude. It was like, alright, let's start a game. All right, eight hours later, I'm getting nuked by Gandhi. Ah, that sucks. Looks like we got to make a new game. Oh shit, it's already midnight. That's that. That was how life was with Civilization. All right, man, let's go. One on one versus Gandhi. He sent some nukes over. Oh shit. All right, looks like we got to make a new game, and it's so much time has already passed. <gasps> oh, free diamond, Napolini. This is what I was talking about. The Last Stand Aftermath. Oh, interesting. Another zombie game. Based off of an old zombie game. Oh, I see, I see. Never heard of it, but I see you over there. Hope you have fun, man. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for bringing your community over to bring our uh, the share with ours, man. Appreciate that, Smoking. 134. That could be a little bit more warm so that we could feel it into here. And then we got to do the interior here. All right, so let's get this started get the wall toilet let's get this coming out to here and then we will have to put the door right here of course that means we need the ladder 
here, here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four should be fine. Get the pipeline coming out. Simple setup. And that's the bare bones for now, after I deconstruct that. I'm not much of an SPS person, so maybe why? Don't know it. Gotcha, gotcha. It'd be like that, man. His AI, I feel like they they, they, they wanted to meme for his AI, man. Crusader Kings looks like Civ, but is worse, as you actually are a character and play as the descendants after you die. So marriage is a bloodline to super important. I tried to get into CK. Not really. I didn't really give it an honest shot. I really should have, though. But I have the original CK1. They, they were giving it out for free. <laughs> so I have it, but I never really touched it. Have another building that might be diamonds. Sandstone. So we have two right here. That's the only thing I have, I think. I don't think I have anything else. I might be wrong. To the left. Oh, right here? May I don't think this has diamond in it, because this is Neuro Vacillator, right? We have a chest, two lockers, Neuro Vacillator. I don't think we would have diamond in here, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. All right, Napolinis, you're doing the scouts. Are you stressed out, buddy? All right, he's not stressed out. Yeah, he is. All right, man. After he's done scanning these two, we're going to send him home. Uh, my guy in here. We have eight days still. We're eating. That's fine. Doesn't have time to mop. We're good. Doesn't have time to mop, but he's fine. All right, we'll live them out for another day. They'll be chilling. It's on Game Pass. You can try it for a dollar. Oh no, I have I have the the original CK, but does the Game Pass version they don't give you the DLCs, right? Aren't you still like missing out on a lot? I might be wrong, but that's the case, right? They don't give the DLCs. So this is fine. Groom and happy. That means the egg setup is good. Oh, uh, the pips are just digging through the coal box. No, that's rude, dude. Oh, and the auto super puts it back. <laughs> this is literally the useless machine. The pip digs out the storage bin, but the auto sweeper puts it back in. <laughs> I'm just wasting power, dude. Feels bad. I think they don't, because I've used... Gassy Moo Planet! Alright! This already looks like a good route for the Dutchman ship that I'm going to be making. Staviet, thanks so much for using your Prime and using it on me. Enjoy the emotes, d 20 dice, and free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. But thank you so much for the support. Appreciate that, Staviet. If I'm, if I'm mispronouncing your name, please help me out with that. I hate to be uh, saying your name's wrong. But yo, man, thank you so much. Noxian, what's good, man? I see you over there. How are you? Hello, Too Legit. How's it going? We doing all right? We're doing a challenge run right now. And this guy, Napolinis, keeps peeing his pants. He keeps peeing his pants, dude. And he is sad because he keeps peeing his pants. He's at 69% stress. I don't know, man. He keeps, he keeps rubbing his hands together like he's making progress. But I think it's time for us to send him home. I don't think he's going to have time to do this actually let's check out what's napolini's uh stress reaction oh he's just gonna cry you know what maybe we could let him out there i think he's i think he's all right he could cry it out and then that's gonna be captured in his suit as well so he's gonna get extra soiled and then i think he's gonna be all right i mean we could just send him back home right now though glad to support been watching you uh your vids on youtube hey glad you enjoy Seeing the people from the YouTube community over here, man. It's always great to meet the folks. Thank you so much for watching the videos. And of course, I know it's been a while since I've released non-VOD content. But uh, soon, soon, we're going to have some videos released soon. I need to be working on that. Mosey joining in the Duke Colony. All right, Mr. Mosey. We got Harold, Rowan, Quinn, Ellie, Marie, Lyra, and Ada. Those are going to be the uh, available dupes. Let me know who you, who you would like. If you want a specific job as well, you can always ask for that. Like if you want to be a rocket pilot, 
But uh, let me know. You have your selections. If you don't mind who you take, I'm just going to give you the oldest dupe, which is probably going to be Harold. Might be wrong, though. But let me know. I got you, Mosey. Welcome to the colony. All right, so this is ready now, so we can do this. And then we need the rocket capsule in here. We need the door set up like that, because we're gonna have the power outlet here. We need the double ladders, and then I need the plastic tiles. So here and here. That's gonna be the initial set. I guess if they want, actually, actually that should be an airflow tile. If they want, I think I could actually get some of the advanced stuff in here as well. So the uh, block here, add a granite, the mess table, and then the party line fill. Nice. Marie, thanks. Gotcha, gotcha. We got you with Marie. Mosey, welcome in. This Mosey is positively glowing. What's her secret? Radioactive isotopes, of course. Yo, man. Maybe it's uranium. I uh, see you over there. Why the plastic top? So, when you're in space, um, one of the problems you run into in space is radiation. Radiation. I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button. So, radiation actually shines through the rocket ship enough that your duplicates, if they spend too much time in space, they start getting radiation poisoning. Now, what you guys probably don't know, uh, plastic is one of the best materials out there. Plastic, lead, and uh, I think it's insulation are the best materials to build tiles out of that blocks radiation the most percentage. So the only thing above that is solid hydrogen, which is not something you could use to build tiles out of. And that reduces the amount of active radiation shining on my dupe. If I reduce that number low enough, they never get sick, so I don't actually have to bring radiation medicine with me. So it's either I bring medicine so I could take that while I'm in the ship, or I just shield myself from the radiation. So I choose to use the plastic and just block it so that I don't get sick. So that's what the plastic's for. You could use other tiles to block the radiation, but you could see that the percentage is at 68%. So it's pretty good. Okay, we got the other planet right there. Good stuff. That actually means Napoleons could go home. Because <laughs> this being discovered means that the other tiles around it got uncovered as well. So Napolini's he's going back. Good stuff. Does Vanilla have the new dupes yet? I believe they do. Because that was an update, right? And not actually from the DLC. I think they have the new dupes. Steve, uh, Pei, I believe they're all added in. I might be wrong, but I think they came with an update, right? Or was that spaced out? Because if it came out with spaced out, you might not have the new dupes. I think they merged updates. Steam last year reviewed told me that I haven't been on my PC for two months. I'm just out of date. I wonder if you could feed a rat eater just from that. I believe that even if your rat eater constantly had it, I don't know if there's like a ceiling on how much radiation you get. Because it isn't like something along the lines of you get one calorie per 100 rads or something. I'm not sure. I think you might get radiation sickness before you actually keep yourself full. I think that might be the balancing point. I mean, that makes sense. I'm just not sure if that's actually how it works. All right, let's take this out. Let's deconstruct and let's get the other grub fruit in here. Oh, these are not spindly anymore. These are the advanced grub fruit. Oh, nice. So I need to make sure I uncheck that from the uh, food options. Doesn't look like we have it unlocked yet, though. And then grub fruit preserves. Hey, Jux coming in as promised. Cash money, baby. Cross the face. I'm uh, too much of a boomer to use Discord, so I just emailed the file to too legit. Hey, that's not my email. It's too legit city. Hopefully, you actually send it to the right email. Because my name is not too legit at Gmail. Feels bad. <laughs> Uh, man, you're far from the worst, and that means you're close to the best, for real, for real. Appreciate that, Jux. Thank you so much for the, uh, big tip. Appreciate that. And, uh, yo, man, I just want to make sure you send it to the right email. I'll check my emails out after stream. 
But uh, hopefully that's not the email address you sent it to. Because my email address is my name, Too Legit City. And that's missing from the message. Maybe it's a character limit, though. But, uh, dude, appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I'll make sure to check it out. BP 100 rads away every cycle. So does that convert the rat instantly into KCAL? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know if it even... Okay, you did send it to the right email. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure. Am I full cleared? No, I'm not. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this one would be a little bit of knowledge. This might be the tear. The solo, because the clusters, I believe in my experience, doesn't actually uh, usually house a tear. I might be wrong. I believe the clusters never have a tear in the cluster. So this might be it. I'm going to send a uh, steel rocket to that. I got to make a steel rocket to that. Let's remove the ladders here to make the new steam engine. But yo, Jux, thank you so much. I'll make sure to check it out. Appreciate the support, man. We'll send the dupes back. We'll make a new rocket. Maybe we send this. No, no, no. I need to do the cartographer rocket for this. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I might want to go upwards next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, dude, that's too far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm right outside of the range. <laughs> That's so rude. That's so rude. I, that means I actually can't send it out to there. All right, we're just gonna start scanning the other ones, and we'll we'll see what we could do with that. That's tough. That's actually really tough. Oh man, does that mean I should start grabbing data banks to get the Rad Bolt engine? That could be what I need to do. That's actually kind of insane. Because this is the only rocket I could make and feel that flies out far enough. And the worst part about it is that it costs steel. <laughs> I don't want to make this because it's steel. Ah, oh, man. I think we have to use that as like a last resort. Send the dupe out, fly all the way to here. And then just uh So one so one one, two, three, four. So I could be on this tile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am perfectly in between the planets. Oh, that's so stupid. That's actually so stupid. I remember to check my digital rewards for the plushie. I have a spare copy of Oni's soundtrack. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I see you over there, analog. But yeah, that's that's awesome. I don't, I don't know if I have any use for that, sadly. Finish home sweet home, get achievement, recoup skill. I guess that works, yeah. We could do that first and get the steel later for that. Hmm. I mean, I, I guess it's a necessary evil. Make an ice box out of solid CO2 isn't effective as water, correct? Yes. Uh, water. So what you need to look for is when you freeze the object into a solid, the stats of it. So carbon dioxide, if you get the solid carbon dioxide, the, the specific heat capacity is what you're looking for. You want this to be a high value. You want that to be a high value. So ice is typically pretty good because it's at a value of, I think, 2.1? 2.05. But not a lot of solids have a high specific heat capacity value, sadly. You want it? Anyone in chat? I want up my copy and stream, so I'm just paying it for. Uh, I don't know what I would do with it, to be honest. 
So I don't want to take something just to take it. You know, like if someone else has better use for it, I'd rather them have it. All right, so sucrose we have, I guess we could make a lot of grub fruit preserves for long-term food. That's actually not bad. I think we do turn this off though. Actually, let's take out the tile first and then we'll remove the doors. Not like the sweetos are gonna break out. Okay, so because I might have to, I don't want to do the Radbolt engine. Just in case I have to, let's go with this. Just do the research. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about that. There's no way for me to produce oil in order to do the design for that. I guess we do need to make the other ranch right here. But we need to start uh, removing the seal too first before we could actually uh, start ranching here. Napolini keeps peeing his pants. Feels bad, man. He'll be home soon, though. So much seal too. I could just do a door crusher at the bottom, but we're just gonna pump it into here. All right, so. It's tough that that doesn't work. Is there really no combination I could do for this? One, so, so, so. One, two, three, four. And then up here. So one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. And then here is one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, that works. Go down this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if there's no planets down here, I could scout that and make it home with the emergency launch. Oh, that's really gross. Okay. So I have to scout the bottom next and hope there's no planets nearby. Oh, that's gross. I hope there's no plan. This could be a planet that could ruin me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it's one, two, three, or one, two, three. If that's a planet, I get wrecked. <laughs> oh, man. Bring the water home instead of dumping it into space. That's true. That is an option. So can I do seven, eight, nine, ten? If I don't do this, I fly back to here. If I go here, we're 50 50. If I go here, it's a 50 50. Ah, oh, dude, these tile RNGs, dude. That's such a pain. All right, one of them's back, though. My boy Napolini's. Let's get him some bathroom water. <laughs> Let's get him some bathroom water, boys. He needs it. All right, we need some water here for the bathrooms. Let's cut the pipes. And the pipelines are just going to flow in. That's enough bathroom water for him. All right, temperature's at 140. This is pretty good. We'll heat this up a little bit more. Yeah, we'll turn this off. We're not going to dump any more brine into here. Can you boost steam rockets with a new terminal? It only increases piloting speed. It doesn't actually increase distance, from my knowledge. Right here, right? Mission Control Station provides guidance data to rocket pilots within range. Improvement to a rocket speed must be operated with a dupe astronomy skill. Steam rockets slow. Yeah, I mean, it makes it faster, but it doesn't make it so that you drive further out, though. That would be amazing. If it increases war, uh, rocket distance, because the logic is uh, increase efficiency, so they're able to drive further out, maybe? 14. Okay, this needs to be a little bit shorter. Now I'll probably trim it out to the bottom and just build the monument there. Okay. Let's actually turn this off, because we need a little bit here. I mean, I guess we don't need it yet. Once we need it, we'll start doing that. Oh, this is actually 100 out of 100. That's pretty good. 
Imagine if it was skill base, higher research equals more distance. Hmm. That's a little bit too broken. Because you will start having people with seal 2 rockets hitting to the temporal tear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's probably one thing Clay doesn't want to see. I don't want to see people reaching the tear with CO2 rockets. Napolini's did not get a stress reaction. Let's go. He's chilling. He's chilling. But if it's not that strong, it would have to be something marginal that shouldn't affect it. So it's like max increased distance of two tiles for every 10 points into uh, uh, 10 points in the attribute. Yeah, level 10, one tile. Yeah, it's, a, it's such a little bonus. Such a small boat. I mean, it's feasible. I just don't know if anyone would actually be like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, for this challenge run, that would be pretty good. <laughs> but outside of this challenge run, that's so marginal. I don't know if the devs want to even code that. You know what I'm saying? One, Yeah, one tile is all I need, 100%. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong, my friend. Yeah, ain't wrong. All right, so this rocket needs 60 kilogram. Let's turn this on. We're going to pump some steam into here, and then we're going to send Napolini's back out again. The puff bed looks ridiculous. I can't wait to see what it's made from. Dude, did you see the puff plushie that they released? Did anyone in chat get the new plushie they actually released? Did anyone get that new puff plushie? Oh, you got it? Yo, does the fart actually make a sound? When it farts? <laughs> Asking for a friend. I haven't received it yet, but uh, if you backed it, you get the skin for the bed. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. I see, I see. Let's turn this back up to above. Overflows into here. And we're actually ready for launch. Let's go. All right, so... I think going straight down is a strat. I think going straight down is a strat. Napolini's is still stressed, though. I don't know if I want to send them out. What the hell is this? Where'd all this water come from? Oh, that was ice. Oh, no. Everything's flooded. Dude, what the heck, man? <laughs> Where's this coming from? Alright, it is what it is. Got some free uh, ice water. I'll clip the pick. Oh, thank you, thank you, Analog. Appreciate that. Alright, Nate Bellini's. I'm sorry, man, but it's time for you to go. We're going out, and I'm sorry if you're at 94% stress. We need you to do these rocket mission, dude. Very important. Very important. All right. So from here, we are never going to turn this on because we're going to have this go up to 999. So this never turns on anymore. And we're also going to start limiting the power from here. So this is not going to be used. And we're going to make all the steel from the back because we have enough steam for the fuel. And it's hot enough, enough mass, that the heat's not going to leak out. So it's going to be pretty good. No, man, you're not going to die. No one's going to die in our playthrough. We got bathroom water, everything. The only thing I might have forgotten to fill up was uh, steam. Steam, uh, oxygen. Oh, yeah, you're low on oxygen, actually. You're low on oxygen. You might not actually be able to scout. Okay, never mind. Let's actually send him back. <laughs> Damn it, man. Messed up. All right, where's my all, uh, oxygen? 600 kilograms. That's pretty sweet. Can't complain about that. I forgot to give him O2. How much steam did I lose from that? I lost 30? 15? 30 or 15? I lost 30 kilograms. Yep. Learn to breathe other gases. It'd be like that sometimes. Priority nine. Uh, let's look at the oxygen we have. 
We still have this up top. Okay, so let me sweep this. And have this be sweep only. Let's also ground the rocket for now. Suki's doing it. Oh, <gasps> telescope strat, let's go. Guys, I, w I didn't forget the steam. I didn't forget the oxygen. I'm just using some exploits. Oh, let's go. Long distance scanning. Coming in with the strats. <laughs> Not cheating, boys. That's just game mechanics. Totally just uh, how the game is supposed to operate. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. It's not me that needs oxygen, it's the telescope that needs it. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. He ain't wrong. Alright, start moving the CO2 into the box. If this becomes a mixed gas box, I actually don't mind. We just have to lower the amount of uh, gas that we have here. Hopefully everything goes down so this becomes more manageable. Let's copy. Copy. And then this is a priority 9. Sand is at 81 tons. We're actually at an all-time low right now. So, let's go granite to sand. This is actually going to be something we need to do. And then we need to start mining off the sand from here and up top. Outside of that, there's that node of sand. I guess the right side would be something to mine. Alright, let's go like this first. And then we'll mine that afterwards. Sand over here too. Could be something. Right there. And then right there. A lot of sand on the left side. Alright, we'll just crush for now. I don't want to go into here because it's cold. There is a lot of O2 issues going down there. So I think it's going to go over here. So let's go do something like... I have to climb up, right? Alright, let's mine this out first. And then we'll do this. And then we'll just go through this way. And then once we get to here, we mine out the sand. Once we do that, we'll go through this way, mine out this sand. After that, we go this way, mine out all that sand. Simple does it. Hey, too legit. Don't take it for granted. I see you over there, Hatchling. I see you over there. If you guys don't know, this guy, Hatchling, is not a father, but he just loves dad jokes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know if Hatchling has kids or not. Guys, how do you guys feel about dad jokes? I know some people love them. I know some people actively cringe when they hear one in real life. I actually think they're not that bad. One day I will be there as a Hatchling. Have you seen that? Have you seen that gif? Oh my god, have you seen that gif? It was it was this guy. He's 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 uh just dressing himself. And then out of nowhere, he he looks behind him and he sees his dad. And his dad looks at him and they're wearing the same outfit. Except his dad has socks on and he's wearing sandals. So <laughs> so he, he looks at his dad he looks at himself he's like oh my god and then out of nowhere the dad just motions to him gotta tuck in your shirt and he starts tucking in his shirt starts putting the socks on he starts putting the sandals on and then he looks exactly like his old man oh man that was that's a great gift man it's so good I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about I gotta find that man it's so good all about them. Dad jokes for the win. We got some uh, people favoring that in chat. Depends if they're fresh. Ooh, that's tough, dude. Fresh dad jokes are tough. Wife hates them. No kids. Oh, I see you, Napolinis. Dad jokes. I keep mine in a uh, database. Oh, wow. Wow. I see you, Alinden. I can't believe it, man. He actually hit us with one of those. He actually hit us with one of those, man. You could buy books of them? Oh, man. 101 dad jokes? Come on. I set you up. I, I kind of did. I kind of did. That's my fault. I guess that's my fault, boys. You hate to see it. Anyone who says they like dad jokes are liars. Couldn't be a uh, father from the truth. Oh, what a guy. I see a Razoroth. Self-setup. Self-setup. 
Knowing a dad joke when you see it is important. You got to make sure they're a parent. <laughs> what do you call a guy who says a dad joke, but it's not a dad? Is that is that actually like illegal? Will he get fined and arrested? When I read this, animals was not how I interpret it. I will leave it to your imagination. Oh, interesting. I see you guys. Not really. I, I nod along. Sure. Wait, Napolinis. You're supposed to leave. Oh, we never gave you your oxygen. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go like this. Uh, oxygen. Let's empty this. And we have to sweep the new bottle. Sweep the legs. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see you guys. I see you guys. Napolini's man, he is not feeling good. He's running on the treadmill. He's trying to de-stress. Yeah, it's negative 3%. We'll be fine. We just got to move in some oxygen. All right, all right. So, yep. A little bit of the steam is breaking because I put too much in the pipeline. This is filled up. You hate to see that. Uh, we got to wait for this to be built. Duplicants just waiting for the dupe labor. Get back to here. Let's reject everybody. Don't need those guys yet. These guys are not cramped. We have 10 kilograms of eggshells. That's not a lot. But we'll get some more soon, hopefully. Six kilograms of eggshells. Oh, from here? Oh, wow. That's not bad. We got some eggshells from these guys. I guess they were stacking up. There's some eggshells here. I probably want to grab them. All right, so we are pumping up as much CO2 as we can. I guess because of flow, I need to do this. I know the polluted water falls down, but I think that's better. Because it allows the gas to go up and down a little bit easier. So we could have the CO2 fall down a lot faster. All uh, right, eggshells in here we're getting as well. Got the research. Cool, cool. All right, so how is this? Uh, 6.9. This is not bad. All right, we just need to move the bottle one more time. And then uh, let me check on this. Oh, we have enough oxygen. We actually do. Cool. What's special about eggshells? Eggshells become lime. And that's our biggest bottleneck at the moment. We don't have a way to mass produce lime. Oh no. There we go. Fill up the steam. All right, cool. Let's break the lines. Should be fine. So what we need to make right now is something called the Great Monument. The Great Monument requires three pieces, and we need 17 tons of steel. So we don't have enough steel because we don't have enough lime. So our bottleneck for steel is not having enough lime. So eggshells is our only way for us to actually uh, get to make more steel. So that's going to be something we're waiting on. Although you said wine was very confused. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it was lime. Lime. Sorry about that. Did you change the rules of Super Plastic? Yes. So it's actually like, let me let me show this to you, Solrak. Look at my look at my oxygen. I have a thousand kilograms per tile in this box. And it's cycle 179. And I still have a lot of water. A lot of ice right here. I have a second ice biome I haven't tapped into. I have a lot of frozen ice up top. So running out of oxygen is actually, you know, we have to play a lot longer before we actually run out. So it was a little bit too easy. So instead of just doing the challenge run and just challenging people, we're making the challenge run harder. And what we're doing instead is we're adding in, not only do we have to do home sweet home, which is this achievement, we also have to locate the tear. We can't land on any of the planets, but 
we need to fly out and find where the tear is. So we have to scan it with a telescope. And then we'll be able to uncover the tile. And once we could do that, that objective is complete. Now, of course, the problem with it is that since you don't have access to a lot of the late game resources, no oil, no super coolant, uh, you also have limited water, you don't have access to a lot of the rockets. Now, you do have a little bit of uranium for the Radbolt rocket. And we can build one if we really need to. But... You don't have the capability of actually going that far out, right? 10 tiles to the edge. So a lot of the rockets are like six tile range with CO2. Steam rocket is 10 tiles, but then no deaths. So it becomes a thing where you have to scan the tear without having your dupes die. So that's that's the new challenge that we added in. Captain Luke coming in with the 12 months. How have you been, Captain Luke? I haven't seen you streaming in a minute. Hope you're doing well. Hope the new year is going on great. But how have you been, man? How have you been? How has the new year been treating you? Hope all has been well, dude. Ah, taking a break, taking a break. Gotcha, gotcha. Take care of business, man. Whatever it is, you got to take care of. It's been going well. How are you? We're doing pretty good. Just doing a new challenge run in Oxygen Unincluded. Mamba snapping in the back. But I'm not going to lie, man. Getting flood warnings. Uh, there's probably a lot more mudslides happening in the area. A lot of rain where I'm at right now that we're not used to. Outside of that, though, we're doing pretty good. It's just uh, really cold over here. <laughs> it's really cold. But uh, I'm in a safe area. We don't get a lot of floods where I'm at because I am at a very flat part that's uh, not at the low end, if that makes sense. So we normally don't get floods even when we did used to get the seasonal rain. At most, we would get like one to two inches. Nothing ever actually like gets really that bad. So in that regard, yeah, we're not really too worried about the floods. Not only that, we have, uh, I mean, it's not really close by, but you, you guys have probably heard of it. There's a man-made river in California called the Man-Made River. And the crazy thing with that is that it's not a river, it's just a canal. <laughs> it's literally just a canal. Not really a canal, but, you know, it, it's dried up. So us getting the water in the rain just goes to there for the most part. So it's, I don't think it's going to be that bad. We have a uh, outlet source to push it out to. It's just a matter of uh, staying warm and uh, keeping the power on. That's it. Hopefully the storm doesn't cause too much damage. But yo, man, thank you so much for the one year support, Captain Lou. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, man. Okay, so this one, we do it here. And this one, this is ready. 6.9. All right. So this is good. We have enough food and we got to go into here. This has enough food now. We just have to get more oxygen in here and then we'll be able to launch this one. This one is good now. All right. We're going to go out this way. All five tiles. Do the scans. Nate Bellini's. Good luck, buddy. We should be ready this time. No more grounded. Everything is good. Oxygen is there. Telescope is in. We got the food. We got the bathroom water, so he's not going to pee his pants anymore. Oh, this one might need a little bit of bathroom water. Yep. No deaths, dude. No death. Death does not await. Let's get some water over here. Yeah, that's fine. Let's cut the line. And then let's actually have this go into that bathroom. This is grounded. Nice. Good luck, Napolinis. Don't die, buddy. Ooh, that's hot. And that man canal where the liquid Terminator chased John Connor and T1 in a semi-truck at Terminator 2. Do you remember Grease? When in the final scene, they were in like a sunken concrete area that had concrete going up at an angle on both sides and it was dried up. So there was like nothing down there, but they were in like some weird area. I don't remember that scene from Terminator, but that's exactly how the man-made river looks like. It looks like that. The, the scene from Greece. 
I think it's the final scene from Greece, but that's exactly how it looks like. It's like a sunken area. It's concrete. And yeah, that's really it. <laughs> Alright, cut the pipes. Storm drain on a massive scale. Yes, that's exactly actually what it is. Now, it's supposed to be a river. And we're supposed to have like ducks and wildlife on there. But you know how it goes. It's drought capital USA. We, we don't get that much uh, <laughs> water over there. So there's like no wildlife. There's a lot of just dried up tree branches that wash down. That's it. All right, so this is good. We're still building the inside of here. Uh, I could remove that now and put the fridge there. We need the canister emptier here, of course. And then this is going to be refrigerator. Nice. Ah, we also need the uh, insulated pipeline here for the uh, water. That's a good way to put it. Storm drain on a massive scale. That's exactly what that is. We're doing some uh, necessary research. Napolinis, are you stressed? Oh yeah, he's at 81%. Inside the rocket, he's alright though. Did we allow him to eat meal? Yeah, yes. Okay, so the other person, Hori, can uh, turn that off. Alright, do some scanning. If this is a planet, I'm screwed. If it's not a planet, I'm going for that next. There is That's possible, man. Oof. When Summer mentions Cali, could it be its own country? It'd be a top, it'd be the five largest economy, and someone mentions yeah, but where'd you get the water from? <laughs> no! It is another planet. Ah, oh, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're literally dead center between these two locations. That's so bad, dude. Oh, all right, it is what it is. We're going to have to do a one-way trip to actually uh, discover that. Oh, I mean, at least we tried. Finally, I thought I lost my screenshot location. They were just being wonky with the uh, numbering posting on the Oni thread. Gotcha. Thank you for that analog. Can you not add more fuel? No, you don't have boosters in this game. You don't have boosters in this game. So whatever maximum fuel you have on your engine is going to be the limit. And that's because there's no such thing as a gas fuel tank. <laughs> they have liquid fuel tank. That's it. They have no other variation. So if I go into fuel, we only have... Is that not even a tank? Liquid fuel tank? Large liquid fuel tank. That's all we have. We don't have a gas tank for fuel. We have gas cargo, which doesn't actually go to the engine. So we actually can't extend the distance of the steam engine, which is the problem. I need exactly one more tile to be able to scan what that is. So I have to do that at the very end, I think. Hope that it's the tear and uh, not mess it up. Yeah, it's uh, tough times. <laughs> tough times. Okay, so Rock Crusher. We're making some lime. That's not bad. Doing the granite. Lime here. Eggshells is a thousand. It's not a lot. Alright, so we're moving the gas. I think this is going down. Wow, was that a hatch egg? Feels bad. We are going to go inside. Grab some new hatch eggs. All right, we're going to grab some lime. We have 35 kilogram. That's not bad. Let's wrangle a couple of the critters to move them into here. Do also a refill of the other rooms. This is at eight. Oh, we're at a Sweetles. And then that's going to be okay. Let's get smooth Sweetles. That's a impressive amount of critters per uh, for, uh, per meter. If you had to guess how many critters were here, what's your uh, estimate? If you had to guess the amount of critters we have here, what's the estimate? 
people of chat, is this over under 100? 90, 137. Wow, that's very exact, Sarge. Jux with the 90 below 100. So, reality is, this is not going to be the amount we have, but if I go here, 320 critters. <laughs> but, I think some of them is the fish we have here. Because this is also open to the same amount of space. So this opens up, goes through here, and that's connected. So this area and this area is shared. But I don't think I have that many fish. It's not a lot. I think we have maybe 30 Paku at most. Maybe 40. So this is around 250. If I actually give 70 Pakus here. 250 hatches, sweetles, and shine bugs. If I could land on planets, I could refuel from the gas tank to the rocket. Yep. Why are you uh, torturing that poor puddle Paku? We're not torturing it, man. This is the easiest way for us to keep it outside of duplicate reach. So all the eggs go here. And we can't open the doors so that they actually don't have a problem. Oh, did I not make this sweep only? No, this is just waiting for someone to move the egg. Okay. Oh no, the foods are just going to rot. That's fine. <laughs> That's actually fine. Oh, do we have grub fruit finally? We're making this forever, man, if we can. Grub preserves. Not torture, dude. It's just, uh, you know, when, when you're playing a challenge mode, it's, it's struggle sometimes. <laughs> it's struggle sometimes. All right, so top right, top left, bottom left, left side. That doesn't have to be the tear, though. I could get lucky and find it somewhere else. I'm hoping I get lucky, though. Okay, so this is ready. Actually, we don't have enough fuel to have it be released. The rocket exhaust looks like a butane lighter. <laughs> I see you over there, man. It'd be like that sometimes. Is there anything I'm missing here? Alright, we're just waiting for the pipes. The rocket fuel is actually fixed. Alright, it's actually done, though. Alright, new steam engine. Uh, I'll just build just a steam engine and nothing else for now. Because I think this might be the solo module that I'll send out to do a little bit of scouting. Is what I'm thinking. Solo module. But don't know yet. I just want this to hold steam. We're just going to do that so we can have an overflow setup. 151. This is off. Alright. So the next thing we need to do is wait for that to be built. Oh, we, have, we need a lot of steam. 6.9 kilograms. And then oxygen is actually really good here. Food is good. Alright. So we no longer need that. Let's turn that off. We need this one to have oxygen. So that's going to be the next one we have on. And then this one only needs to be fueled up. I could sacrifice a little bit of steam. It's probably worth it. So let's turn this on. If this engine works, uh, I want to store the excess into here. Good stuff, good stuff. This is going to be 2.2. We're scanning, though. The best situation, I think, is if we scan everything, and the only thing on the edges are clusters of planets like this. Clusters of POI. Because I think the tear has to be isolated. I think it has to be. I, I want to say it has to be, but I'm not 100% sure. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we go to here, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have like a circle right here. Just gotta scan it, boys. Just gotta scan it. I wish there was something you could build. Like a uh, emergency drop-off beacon. That if you build here, anytime you hit an emergency abandoned ship, it always goes back to the same planet to it. 
I wish that was an option. Clay, if you're listening, man, I would love to have like a space beacon that if I hit abandoned ship, it always abandons the same planet that I have the beacon built. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Because you already pay the penalty, right? You lose a little bit of resource. It does allow you to travel a little bit farther, though. But you would have to power the beacon, things like that. That could be a pretty good thing to add, man. Again, it might be just for the challenge run that it's appealing to me, though. <laughs> like rocket launches and a life pod to a planetoid destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, basically, when you abandon ship, it launches to the nearest planet. I think it'd be cool if we could make something to always have that be where the abandoned ship goes to. So that you could have like, oh yeah, this is where all the emergency landings need to be having at. That would make it a little bit better, but I don't know. That's just my opinion though. Alright, that should be enough to get the rockets fueled up. Yep, we're good, we're good. So all this seems is going to sit there, sadly. And we're going to be ready to launch another mission. So, this is going to be Hori. Uh, inside is actually great. Oh, you're taking a dump inside with the toilet water inside? Come on, man. Mosey, dude. Stop using the toilets. Wait, we're grounded, dude? Ah, oh, I clicked it, but it didn't click. That's so stupid. All right, either way. Let's change this up. We need to go top right. We'll do the right side first. Crew launch. That's going to be uh, that mission. It's going to be pretty good. Oh, no one has cooking skill. Oh, my God. No one has cooking skill. I just realized that. Oh, we have no cooks. <laughs> we actually have no cooks. Okay, Rowan is a decorator. Yep, you're going to be the cook now, dude. I'm sorry. Priorities, Rowan. Where are you at, buddy? You're no longer going to be just a farmer. You're going to be cooking for us now. Feels bad, man. We need the growth for preserves. Alright. Waiting for Hori to wake up, wash his face, and then uh, get to his job of uh, piloting a, a rocket. What a job to wake up and do, dude. What a job to wake up and do. And the dupes are just going to run into the heat. Nope. Yep, he just ran in. It's fine. He has uh, armor. All right, we're going out. We're going out. Doing our scanning. Another POI right there. Take the nutrient bars, of course. Need to make sure the dupes are allowed to eat the muck root. Let's check up Napolini's. No, it's the other guy. 76%. Oh, he's still low morale somehow. Oh, this is... Uh... Ah, I see. I have an idea, actually. Can we do these, Napolinis? You got this, buddy. We don't have the room bonus because of the industrial machinery. And then we can do this, though. And then once we do that, his stress should go down. What? What's the industrial machinery? Is this industrial machinery? Oh, the pump. Ah, oh, it's the pump. The pump is blocking my uh, morale bonus. Napolini's is just going to be stressed out now. Can I move the pump? 
No, that's actually the only four tiles we actually have available. <laughs> I thought I was being slick by having this room separated. Turns out I am not that slick. Uh... All right. 200 IQ plays. Just deconstruct the pump. Oh, Great Hall, come on. Move to the Great Hall, buddy. Get the Great Hall bonus, let's go. Oh, you have to eat in a Great Hall? Come on, dude. Can you go eat? It's almost time. Can you not put an airflow tile in below the door to shut the room down, or would that make it too small? Uh, so the problem was, was that it was the pump, though. So, moving the airflow tile, I don't think that changes anything. Because I'm using this airflow tile to climb up. Right? Achievement? What did I get? Not sure what you're referring to, though, Kiwi. Not sure. Can you not put an airflow tile in below the door? This is a separate room. This is a separate room. Yeah, I think the issue was since it was the pump. It was causing some problems. No one's starving is all that matters. Alright, so POY, POY. Going out that way, got the POYs. A lot of steam still. We're doing great. Uh, extra steam in here. We'll just uh, consume that. And then I could do it here. Flow it backwards. Nice. This is not supposed to be enough. We're just going to take the excess out of the pipe. This might be a cartographic module design. Might have to be. Alright, so we're at 6.4. We're out of lime still. Oh, we're not making lime though, because we're crushing granite. Alright, it's up the priority here. We have nothing else to make, so that should be fine. I guess because I'm actually low on dupes compared. That could be an issue. Didn't think about that. Could be low on dupes. So we just don't have a lot of manpower. Made a mess? Oh, come on, dude. Alright, man. Take the suit, wear the suit. <laughs> ah, man, classic. Did I do it here, too? Not grounded. Cool, cool. Stress is going down because he's 13 out of 9. Let's go. Napolini's is not going to cry in the rocket anymore. Let's go. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Man, we have to go basically scan this tile, and then we get everything here uncovered. We need to see the edge. We need to see where the potential question marks are, and then try to get as many of them as we can in a short amount of time. I might want to set this up. Do I have another dupe that's a rocket pilot? I think Leira was a pilot. We got to give her astronomy. Oh, she doesn't have the skill points? Feels bad. I might have to reduce her carrying skill then. I don't think outside of that we have any other people that's willing to be a pilot and a telescope guy. Unless we sent two people. Which I wouldn't want to do. Oh, we can make steel. Let's go. Crushing the lion, boys. 10 kilograms in there. Oh, yeah. We were here. Sweetos are doing their thing. Got to the sands. Not bad. Oh, we're still at 60 tons only. Uh, let's do this. Uh, 
and then from here, let's do it here. Oops. Do this, and then do that to get to that. And then there's sand up top. So I would probably... Hmm, I should probably wrangle the Sweetos then. Yeah, they're eating the sulfur. Ah, uh, these guys. Uh, let's go here. And then it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and then it's here. Cancel the uproots, and that should be fine. All that sand. So the sand is because we're feeding the hatches. That's that's our ranching food that we need to have. And then we have to go to there next, I think. Also the sand. Dude, 5,000 kilograms? Holy shit. Y'all see this? This is 2.5 tons? What the hell? Hold up. Is that how much is here? No, this is 900. Yeah, this is normal. What the hell? 5,000 kilograms? I didn't even... What? Guys, we're going straight here. <laughs> Why do we have so much sand right here? What in the heck? Hey, man. I'm not going to complain. It's free sand. Somebody's got to use it. Why do we have so much sand right there, dude? Oh, they're doing uh, skin drops and Oni via Twitch drop, like DST. Oh, cool. Looks like we're going to have to become a clay ambassador, boys. So I can hook you guys up with some drops. Looks like I'm going to have to be a clay ambassador. Have to reach out to clay. Let him know your boy me too legit. Would like some skins. <laughs> I would love to have some skins. I gotta make sure they know about that soon. Just learned that a thousand kilograms counts as one ton in the game. Yeah, thousand kgs is one ton. So more accurately, that sand tile is the same weight as an SUV. I know, right? Isn't that impressive? Freaking insane, dude. Insane. Not starting yet, but it seems like it's going to be that way. Yeah, 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 I heard that they're going to use a similar format to the Don't Starve and how they pass out loot. And since it's going to be like that, yep, they're going to have drops. That makes sense. That makes sense. So one, two, three. We have to go to here. Why can't uranium tiles be like that? I know, right? <laughs> Anytime you get uranium, oh, it's only 100 kilograms. Oh, dude, you missed a zero game. I think you missed a zero. This should be at a thousand. <laughs> Feels bad. They keep missing the zeros, dude. It's a bad time. All right, so the seal 2 did come down. So the uh, areas are a little bit better. It's kind of a problem still, though. They have new art. Oh, my God. So much new stuff. I got to check it out. Can I not reach this? Oh, I need a ladder right there. That's why. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we have hatches. They're doing their thing. We got to do the thing again where we have to have them move out the eggs. We have idleness. Oh, <gasps> that's because you're stuck. <laughs> we have idleness. Someone's idle? What's going on? Oh, they were trapped. Okay, okay. All right, these guys need to be captured, though. They're eating all the sulfur. I might just have to use this area as more ranching. I think I have to. That makes the most sense. I need so much steel. All right, so because I think that's going to be how we're going to want to do that. I'm probably... This is 96 tiles. Yeah. Uh, I need to replace these uh, tiles really quick. There's nothing inside. So... Let's use the middle one. We're going to replace this with uh, doors. So they could just run across. It's a little bit easier that way. Now, I don't want the the hatches to be cramped, so having them open allows them to still lay eggs. So it should be fine. And then we're just going to put the pneumatic door there. Do two tiles at a time. 
and then we're going to open this up for more ranching. Great Monument's still going to be right here, though. Oh, what? One tile at a time? What a travesty. There we go. Please do this one next. Not too worried about the temperature anymore. Wait, you can't groom. Oh. Oh, they're auto-wrangling surplus. No, 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 no. <laughs> we don't want that right now. There we go. Alright, remove this. Remove that. We'll check on the uh, people in space soon. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so all you have to do now is scan. Idle? Why are you idle? Are you on downtime? What are you doing? Oh, the O2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta build the pump. That's right, that's right. Forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me, Napolinis. Ooh, more muckroot. I'll take that. Does that mean this is also not a great haul? Okay, luckily for me, this guy doesn't need... Oh, he kind of does. It's very low, though. It's not that bad. Alright, have this be prioritized. 6.5 tons of steel. Still not enough. I guess we could open this really quick. Lime goes from 7.7 .7 to 87. Got some Paku eggshell. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Nice. Okay, these guys are good again. We have a shortcut to go through instead of going all the way around. And we can start mining out all the materials here now. Alright, this has got to go. Uh... Great Monument's gonna be right here, right? So... 15 tiles. Oh, we have to mine this out. I guess that's fair. We have this go up. And then do something like this. Mine this out. Nah, maybe we don't mine that out yet. I do want the Great Monument here, though. And then we'll trim this out. And then once we get the Great Monument... We're going to go underneath, get some ranches done. Probably replace these as well with some doors. Let them get to work. Napolini's. His stress is down, so hopefully we're going to be fine just having the pump now. Scan, my dude, scan. Hopefully there's nothing here. The best result if there's nothing in the back layer. That's literally the best. That's not it. Oh, the water plant's right there. Okay. Oh, there's another one. One. All right, slow this down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I can't reach. Oh, dude. And the water plant's in the way. So there's two of them. Already, that's a potential bad set. A potential bad set right there. We could still scan these two. And then we have to scan these right here. Another cluster, which probably isn't going to be the tear. I'm thinking we might need rad tech, man. The more I, the more I look at this, the more it feels like I need rad tech, man. I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried. The more I look at this, man. There's 50 POIs on the outer room. Dude. Alright, we could we could remove these two out of the equation because it's a cluster. We have two right now. Please, no more, dude. <laughs> I don't want any more. Two is fine. Alright, so that might mean I want to go inside. And start mining uranium and make a uh, design for the reactor. 
So I think I'm going to do something insane. I have to. Where I use all of my hydrogen and use like 10 kilograms of uranium so it runs exactly for one cycle and then charge a Radbolt rocket with that 10 kilograms of enriched uranium. Because that means I have... The 100 gets cut in half from digging, and then when I run it through the centrifuge, it gets cut in half again. So I have 25 kilograms per tile, I think. I might be wrong with the uranium stuff. And then I need to have that run on the reactor for one cycle, and then I need to probably have, what is it, eight Radbolt generators? So that we charge the rocket in that one cycle. And then from there, we need to basically reach the tear, basically. And make sure we find it. <laughs> That's going to be tough times, man. Or maybe the strat is we have to make a shine bug factory that rivals a uh, crash satellite. That could be the other thing we could have done. Shine bug radiation factory. All the shine bugs in one tile have it basically just be like. Probably the goal will probably be like a thousand shine bugs. So we get to 2,000 rads per tile. Dude, a thousand shine bugs though. That's insane. You know what? If you start on that from cycle one, it's probably possible to get up that high. You would have to do a lot of shine bug ranching though. You would have to have a lot of shine bug ranches. That technically also solves the eggshell need, potentially, if you have that many shine bugs. But they do, they do give you a lot less lime compared to everything else. Like, it's really low. Oh, add a sandstone, classic. Let's start mining this two layers at a time. We'll start pushing in with the ratchets. No power over here, that's fine. We don't have enough diamonds yet. 60 kilograms of lime, wow. 6.6 is going to be 7.2. And then we're going to have four more. So we're going to get up to seven. We might be able to bail. Oh, no. It's not 7.5, right? It's, uh... No, it is 7.5. I thought it was 10k. I thought it was 10k. It's 7.5, right? 7.5. Okay. We don't have the diamond yet. Oh, we don't have water here. Ooh. Which means I don't get enough water for the spawn. Ooh. Uh, alright, so let's go into here. Let's build the pump a little bit lower now. Actually starting to run out of water. That's actually kind of impressive. So let's start dumping pea water back into here. This feeds into my metal refinery. We'll just make some copper or something. And this is... Yeah, it's actually... Uh, if this drips down, it's not going to hit anything. Alright, so let's go here, here. Let's build the vent over to here. And wait for the autosave line. Slime lung. Aw, oh, heck. It'd be like that sometimes. Someone got the Rona. Please, please wash your hands, Ada. Where'd we get that? Oh, right here? Was there slime lung in some of the tiles here? What the hell happens? There's no slime lung tile. I'm so confused. Slime lung is up here. Oh, it's from here? Dude, I'm so confused, because there's nothing in here. And this is... Oh, it's one slime lung. How do we have exactly one slime lung? That looks kind of jank. Alright, that got trimmed. We're not moving the Sweetles. Oh, it's because this is full. Ah, alright. Can I drop them? Yeah, let me just put the door here. We'll just move the Sweetles in here just to move them. One tenth of a hatch, one twentieth of Paku. So I do have the emergency eggshells right here for my uh, Pakus, but the eggs should be going into here. 
I'm hoping this ramps up a lot faster. Oh, it's cramped. Can we get some love on the wheel, dude? I think we need a separate setup for this in terms of power. Uh, I think I have enough coal where it shouldn't matter. Because, yeah, I need to sweep the egg. All right, I think we turn this off. Because although that running is cool, we don't actually need that right now. We just need the gases to settle out. And then I just need to sweep the egg. So that they're no longer cramped and able to reproduce. Sixty-five. Alright, we're cool, we're cool. Alright, check up on the dupes. Two right there, it's part of the cluster. It's probably not gonna be it. But I think this guy is done, right? Area complete. Okay, it's time to go home. Other guy? This guy? He's also done. Oh, dude! There's one here, and there's one here, and there's one here. <laughs> dude, what the heck, man? What the heck is this? I mean, I have, a, I have an idea of something I could do to check out multiple of these at the same time. But that's not cool. Alright, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ooh. That's exactly one Radbolt rocket on a Dutchman setup. Ooh. That's actually something I might be willing to do. I would have to do that after the tear, though. After the tear, after the monument. So the faster I do the monument, the faster I can do the Radbolt stuff. Oh, dude, that's so insane. That's actually kind of insane. And then I got to get to here, and then Radbolt engine. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess we're going back to doing some uh, data bank harvesting. Didn't think I would. I think we need to. That's true, I could just do enclose with the Radboat engine. So, I could be on this tile and scan... No, this tile. I could be on this tile and scan here and here. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wait, couldn't I just do that with a steam engine? 6... No, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... No, no, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then if I go eight, nine, ten, I go back to here. Never mind. Yeah, I need a rad bolt for that. Oh, that's tough. There's so many, but I could send one rad bolt out on a one way trip and do all three of these. That's a lot of steel, though. That's the problem. I guess I could do that if I have too many and I can't tackle all of them at the same time. I will avoid both of these clusters, though. And these would be the last things I check. This might be a cluster. That could be a planet. And then we gotta go to the left side still. Okay. So I think by cycle 250, I'll have the majority of the map uncovered. And then we'll have to make gambles at that point. <laughs> we gotta start gambling, man. Ah. Uh, God, no one likes to gamble. What's going on, Dark Matter Synthesis? So, so how's it going? Uh, we only have steam engines, which is 10 tiles radius. And to reach this, I need 11 tiles. So we're, we're just right outside the window, man. Feels bad. <laughs> it feels bad. So we're right outside the window, man. It's not a good feeling. It's very jank for you, yeah. The resource limitations that we're having is uh, the reason why. Resource limitations, always fun. Sands back up to 100 tons, though. That's good. Keep the hatches eating. And then we have eggshells here. Not a lot, just 4,000. 
but how are you dark matter? What's with your teleporters? I disabled them. So as part of the challenge run that we're doing right now, we're not allowed to use teleporters and we're not allowed to land on another planet. So we are only able to use the starter planet, which is why you steal my planet toys. It's the starter planet and the three rockets we're using. We found a lot of the other planets. We just don't have the, uh, we're not allowing ourselves to land because of that. So we're going for the super classic challenge, which is a little bit of a weird challenge, but hoping it's going to be fun. I have a weird idea. I have a weird idea. I want to try something out really quick. Should be fine. Sounds painful. I like it. <laughs> I see you over there, man. This is dark matter. But yeah, not only that, we're not allowed to use geysers either. So no geysers and no leaving the starting planetoid outside of looking for the tear. So we're on a short timer. <laughs> Once we run out of water, we lose, right? Because that's all of our oxygen. And our goals are locating the tear on the star map, finishing home sweet home, and then surviving 365 cycles for the achievement, one year to be exact. But yeah, doing a lot of these challenges right now. And I think we're going to be low on lime, so I'm trying to scale up the amount of uh, ranches we have for more eggshells, as that's going to be the only way for us to get more uh, lime. I'm happy all the Paku here, though, are not cramped. So it looks like it does follow the rule. So let's do a quick rough estimate. 36, 45, 42, 45, 97. Each Paku requires 8 tiles of water. I could get 12 Paku. I could get up to 12 Paku. I think we're going to try to scale that up then. Because right now we're at how many? We're at four. All right, let's go up to five. Let's keep five fry eggs in here. And then we'll try to keep it so that we have more Pocky for lime. Where do you find small pockets of oil on the starter rock? DLC Classic Start. You don't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, DLC Classic Start. Ah, I see. 12 tiles? No. Pakus require only 8, I believe. Oh, mom was awake. Oh, has it been that long, baby, that you woke up again? I think we're going to wrap up stream soon. The little babies is awake and he needs me. So I believe Paku is uh, water tiles. They need 8 tiles of water for them to not be overcrowded. And, of course, no cramp, none of the other stuff. Algae! Not even, man. Let's get more uh, Paco Ranches in. I tried your spawn, ended up with 200 uh, kilogram water on one side and 200 kilograms of salt water on the other of the ox generators. Oh, yeah! You, you can't add both of the waters at the same time. You have to add one layer at a time. And if one, if you get mixed layers at the bottom, one, uh, one water. Oh, you didn't. Ah, so you, you just happen to run into a weird, uh, a weird kind of, uh, movement with your water. Yeah, that happens too. That's actually why a lot of the times I always use oil for mines, right? You really don't need that much. I have four kilograms per tile, two kilograms per tile here. And then of course, hundred kilograms of water. But yeah, that's actually why I use oil. So if you have the starter planet, I actually get my oil from the teleporter if you're on the Terra Star. Because there's a layer of oil here on the teleporter. It's hard to see because it's actually really thin. But if you actually found your teleporter already, you might have a little bit of oil there. I had 88 kilograms of oil in this area. And I've been using that 88 kilograms for everything. I have a liquid lock here. I have a one drop lock here made out of oil. 
We have it for a spawn. <laughs> we have it for a steam room here so that the heat energy from the steam doesn't mix with the space ice. So we have a 148 and then we have a negative 8.9 <laughs> and that vacuum in the middle so that everything works. So yeah, I'm using that oil because we're playing can't use teleporter, can't use to the second planet. I don't have oil here because I'm on the smaller planet. If you were on the classic start, you should have oil at the bottom right before the magma. So if you're digging down and you don't see it, you haven't gone down far enough. But I will say that's dangerous to so watch out because it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot enough for your dupes to pass out from heat stroke. So be warned. Be careful with that, man. All right. So far, so good. I could have made copper, I mean, conductive wire with steel. I hope I didn't. I hope there's no segments where I did that. If there is, I pick up some steel, but it feels bad, man. That means I messed up. <laughs> copper. Cool, cool, cool. Notes taken. Use steam room with spike to melt upper layer of ice. This guy, man. This guy, Napolini's, he knows. He's, he's, he's writing down all the strats, man. I feel like I should be worried. Okay, so both the rockets are coming back. Okay, I think this is going to be pretty good. I think, guys, this is going to be time for us to wrap things up for the night. I don't have to worry about micromanaging the dupes because they're going to make it home. And we're making, making some good progress today. Doing pretty good. Sorry for the late start to the stream today, but we did go a little bit longer than usual. And, of course, it's time to get that save in. 